We both found what we're looking for. Welcome back everyone to another Deluxe Derek Extras Exclusive. I'll be showing you today the DBL V888 Karaoke Laserdisc Video CD DVD and CD System. All from Pioneer. I'm talking to you through this Pioneer system right now. Let's look into this fascinating piece of technological history. I was lucky enough to find this beautiful piece of machinery at my local Value Village. I go thrifting quite often and I've never found such a multifaceted media player. For the year that it came out in 2002, this was a great option if you already had a Laserdisc collection and were now starting to collect DVDs. It plays both media types beautifully, with lots of options for input and output. This Pioneer also prominently features all of its karaoke capabilities. It also features a both side play for Laserdisc, meaning that you don't have to take out the Laserdisc to flip it over to play the other side. It simply will move the laser internally to play the other side. This unit came out towards the very end of the Laserdisc era. Most people had already switched to DVD by this time in 2002. This was one of Pioneer's premium Laserdisc players for the time. Stay tuned to the end of this video for more karaoke action. This is where you select the tracks of the karaoke disc you're playing, 1 through 10. If you're playing any tracks above 10, you hit 10 plus the number you'd like to play. The DVL V888, Pioneer's all-in-one unit. You can even change the key of the song from low to higher pitch. You can change the guide vocals for the karaoke track you're playing. It has microphone input, it has echo. It allows you to control the background vocals of the music you're doing karaoke to. It allows for two mics to be connected and also a separate mic control. It also allows you different karaoke functions for the DVD. Laser discs are few and far in between and I was lucky enough to pick this up for $6.99. On eBay it's going for about $250. This player was in really nice condition and I'm so happy I could pick it up for only $6.99. I got really lucky guys and you don't come across these too often in thrift stores anymore. And more often than not, you're only going to find DVD players. This unit measures about 18 inches long. From side to side, it measures over 16 inches. And this unit's almost 6 inches tall. This is a pretty big box to have in your home, but for how many functions it has, I think it's well worth it. Here's what the outputs look like on the back. We have auxiliary, S-video out, video out, audio out, optical out, PCM, RF out. Like I said, this Pioneer model DVL V888 was made in Japan. It's of the utmost quality. It's from Japan. Here's the serial number and shows exactly when this unit was made. March 2002. Me not being familiar with laser disc players so much, I always get a kick out of how large the disc tray is. It's bigger than anything I had previously seen before. It almost looks like it's a record player and you could just slide a record in here. That's about the only thing it can't play. Here shows all the disc types you can use. 12 inch laser disc, 8 inch laser disc, smaller form, a normal 5 inch compact disc, and of course a 3 inch mini disc. And this unit only plays one disc at a time. Inserting more than one disc in the tray may damage the player. So no, I don't recommend putting in all the different disc types at once. Thanks Pioneer for letting me know. Here's what just the DVD tray looks like, popping out from the larger laser disc tray. This must have been an engineering nightmare to put all these things in one unit. The size of the laser disc is also very comical to me, and I get a kick out of all this obscure media. It's like a CD the size of a record. The laser disc is pretty loud when you close the disc tray or open it. I'm sure there's a lot of mechanics moving on the inside. Here's an example of a fine laser disc movie called Scarface. But I just realized that it's probably not a good display for a black and white much movie. Music, much more girls, much more everything. Everybody should say, ah, oh, Big Louie. <laughs> He's, you know, top of the world, eh? <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. 
take a good care of yourself, eh? I see you support. We should use maybe a movie that's in color. I'm glad they've included tips for care for a laser disc. Handle the disc only using the center hole and edge. Do not touch the surface. Store your disc within its protective sleeve and cover it when not in use. Clean it using a clean, damp, soft, non-abrasive cloth. Employ small, circular motions. Keep your disc away from extreme heat and direct sun. Do not stack more than 12 discs high. If you encounter problems playing this disc, remove it from the player, check to determine if it was properly inserted, clean as directed, and try again. Make sure that you insert single-sided discs correct side up. I have a couple test laser discs, and some of them have light scratching on it, but it doesn't seem to affect the play. I'm sure a larger surface area helps with that. Hey, howdy there, Mr. Lee. What is this? Filipino New Year's? What is that? Barbecue? Oh well, yeah, but it's not coming from here. At the peak popularity of Laserdiscs, it was the best quality you could get for a video player. Although to be honest, to the naked eye it appears that the Laserdisc quality is not as good as DVD. Let's test a DVD in this Laserdisc DVD player. I apologize for the phase issues when recording my monitor. Comedy Central. It was a contentious year for Cartman and Kyle. Let's go! Come on! He's Pat Oswalt, and he's got no reason to complain. Uncensored on DVD. Uh, it's got uh, bells and whistles and extras and materials. there's uh, audio commentaries. Honestly, it's that they didn't think was good enough to put on the TV. That's, that's why it makes it onto the digital video disc. The DVDs look great, just as you'd expect from any other DVD player. Now let's try a karaoke laser disc. I was fortunate enough to find these also in the thrift store at the same time. They probably had the same original owner. We've got some classic songs on this laser disc. I can't help myself, I gotta get into the action. Simply plug in a quarter inch microphone and you're good to go. We have mic controls here. And to select the other side of the laser disc, simply hit the A-B button. Here's an example of the karaoke feature for laser disc. This is the karaoke feature. I can talk right into the TV. This is amazing technology. And look at these beautiful visuals I can look at while I sing my favorite songs. Gorgeous. I don't know if this is a Playboy shoot or a karaoke session. The features alone for the karaoke is amazing. You can take background vocals on or off. You can have a scoring system when you're playing. It makes it more like a video game. You have control of your microphone, echo, and guide vocals. And picking the tracks is a breeze. Okay. What? What is this? Get your sh together, we could be just fine. Hey, more reverb, please. More reverb. The reverb makes me sound better. See? This is a lot better now. This song goes out to anybody that's got those sexy eyes. Oh, yeah, sexy eyes. I don't know this song. This is a problem. How am I supposed to score points when I don't know the song? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, what the? F I don't know this song. Can you tell me who is still here? Oh, still here. I'm having way too much fun with this karaoke system. The DVD karaoke features work in a similar fashion. This will be playing on a CDG CD. This song goes out to anybody that's ever lost that loving feeling and you just can't get it back. You lost that loving feeling. Whoa, that loving feeling. You lost that loving feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, baby, you. I didn't, you did. <laughs> Kiss them, I love them. But to me, they're all the same. I hug them, I squeeze them. I'm about to get canceled. Stay tuned for more karaoke action if you're interested. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. This song goes out to the late, great Michael Jackson. It's one of my favorite songs he did as a child. It's called Ben. Here's the song, Ben. Hey, yeah. For all those people that had a special friend in their life and they just want to let them know. Ben, the two of us need look no more. We both found what 
we're looking for with a friend to call my own. Everyone sing, I'll never be alone. Sing with me. And you, my friend, will see you've got a friend in me. For everyone that has that special friend in their life. Bit. Hold on. Wait for it. Ben, you're always running here and there. You feel you're not wanted damn near anywhere. <laughs> if you ever look behind and don't like what you find, there's one thing you should know. You've got a place to go, Ben. Ben, come home, Ben. Uh, <laughs> I used to say I and me. And now it's us, Ben. <laughs> and now it's you and me, Ben. Now it's me. Don't know this part. I don't know this part. <laughs> what? Lindy White. Hold on now. You gotta wait for it, folks. Gotta wait on it. Why is she looking at me like that? Why is she, why is she looking like that? And most people would turn you away. But I don't listen to all the words they say. No, I don't care. Listen to that. Hey, they don't see you as I do. Then they don't see you. I wish they would try to. I'm sure they'd think if they, if they had a friend like you, Ben. Ben Affleck. Like, why she looking at me like, like Ben? Why is she looking at me like, like, Ben, come back, Ben. I miss you, Ben. R.I.P. Michael Jackson, King of Pop.